Hi, good afternoon and welcome to this HGMI podcast. Next to me is Jake Doran, who is uh, currently a lecturer of MBA students here at HTMI. And today he's going to share some of his experience as an executive search consultant, also known as a headhunter. Mr. Doran, welcome. Nice to be here. Thank you. Great. Um, can you tell us what, what are some of the initial things that you look at when you open a CV? Well, when you're receiving a CV, you first of all, um, the first thing that attracts you is to have a look at what kind of information the person is trying to share with you. Uh, basically, you have to look at it as like a business card or the first way of introduction. That is the only chance these employees, future employees or the candidates for certain positions have to make a good impression on you. Mm -hmm. And if that first impression doesn't make a good one, they lost forever. Okay. And, and this first impression, how much time would you say do you spend on this first impression? I would say that on average I would spend 30 seconds at skimming through a CV. This is the initial screening that you do. Um, and I would say 30 to 40 seconds is something is really, really exciting and interesting. You would spend a little bit more time, but that official screening wouldn't last for more than 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So do you, um, do you prefer electronic CVs or do you prefer paper CVs to get in? To tell you the truth, we have to go uh, with the, f the flow of electronics and modern technology. I definitely prefer to have electronic CVs. Paper, A, is not good for the environment and B, it's a waste of time to print it out. Get it electronically, it's quick, it's done also for the advantage of candidates. They can send it and within a second their CV is somewhere halfway across the globe mm -hmm. on the desk of the recruiter. Okay. So, and if I, if I apply, should I, should I write a really nice long letter uh, together with my CV or...? Well, you're probably hitting here a very hot topic that there are two schools. Uh, some people who would very much like to see long and elaborate letters describing the person's profile and why they're suitable for the position and others, this is my party, where I would not even look at the, the letter initially, I would focus straight away on the CV, if I like it, it's attractive to me, then I would go revert to the letter and see. But as I said earlier, there are two schools, there is no right or wrong answer, each one does what they uh -huh. feel is best. And, and what would you say in your, your experience and opinion is an acceptable uh, length of CV? I would say if you're looking at a management position, you're probably looking at between two and three pages, not longer. Long extensive CVs with lots of very small writing are distracting. You're looking for that information that you have in your mind as a recruiter. You have certain things that match the job description that you are recruiting for, and you have to find and highlight those keywords with your eyes by screen, sc uh, screening the, the CV. Mm -hmm. And long CVs, more than three pages, won't do it. Okay, all right. So, so finally, what uh, tips can you give um, to our viewers when they write their CVs? If there's one tip I can give you, do not lie, because it's gonna backfire on you. Be truthful, don't overdo it. You are being hired for what you are, tell the truth. Afterwards you can show the people how good you can be in the future. But your business card is there, don't lie about it. Okay, thank you very much for sharing some of your experience with us. Thank you for inviting me, okay. nice to be here. Thank you.